I'm warning you. You keep tickling me, we'll fall out again. <laughs> yeah, well, is that such a bad thing, though, eh? Especially when making up is so much fun. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Guys, time out. Look, it's been a really long night, OK? And as happy as I am for you both, the making up part isn't so fun as it's for me. Sorry. Perhaps we get a little carried away. Understatement of the century. You just need... We'll, we'll keep it down in the future. Thank you. You just need to remember that this is a shared flat and the walls are as thin as... What's the thing that's really thin? It's here! I want a cup of shot. What? It's a bit big, isn't it? Oh, shush. You love it, both of you. <laughs> oh, it was so hard picking a theme. A theme, then? Oh, totally. Moulin Rouge, Fifty Shades, Cowboys and Cowgirls. <laughs> as soon as he said va va vroom, <sighs> I knew. <laughs> It's perfect. What do you think? <laughs> mm. Would you please explain to me why? Okay, why I had like two glasses of Merlot with you two last night, and now this morning I've got a tongue that can grout tiles. It's the wine. Stick with pints. It's all about the agua versus the alcohol content. Well, I touch any OAP content. Admit it, Pops. You just can't handle it no more. Mm, never mate. There's plenty of uh, gas left in this old tank. <laughs> Tell your love life that. <laughs> what love life? Exactly. Hey, son. Just show a bit of respect, eh? Yeah. Respect, OK? I've still got moves. Before the war, maybe. Nowadays, it's Sadville Central. Midsummer murders while you cry yourself into your horlicks. Talk about tragic. I'm uh, biding my time, aren't I? I'm just like this uh, dogged worker bee hunting out the sweetest nectar. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. I'm still paying. <laughs> Take a look in the mirror. All you're missing is the Zimmer, innit? I mean, no wonder Sharon did a runner. Who'd want to go out with that? Me, for one. Yeah, I would. I'd, I'd, I'd go out with that. You are? You are. Look, I, I know we were trying to keep things on the hush hush, but me and your dad. It's the start of a beautiful thing. Deborah, it's time we added that champagne brunch won't eat itself. <laughs> Talk about jokes. It's illegal at your age. How could I forget? Sweet cheeks. Brunch at the bistro. Best not be late. Come on. Mm -hmm. Don't wait up, son. Uh, what about the shot? Free period, it? Yeah. Uh... Go on, big man. I'm sure you can hold the place until the evening arrives. Three periods are meant to be studying, not... Dad. Dad! I'm sure you can rush it through? This business meeting in Chester is at two, but I can always reschedule it if it's too tight. Spanking new car like yours, it'll breeze the service. I like the sound of that. Hey, uh, forgot my lunch. I'm going back to the flat. Need anything? Oh, you forgot that cheese and pickle that I lovingly made for you. You kill me. <laughs> Placid gives me an excuse to see you. Ah, uh, missing me already? Mm, maybe. A little. <laughs> Remember, I want you home on time tonight. I'm cooking again, toad in the hole. <laughs> and I thought maybe we could recreate our couple's shot. <laughs> you do like it, don't you? Hey, you barely said a word this morning. Couple's shot, eh? Hey? Very on trend. <laughs> I'm glad someone gets it. Hey, you love it, really. You're just playing it cool because Ron is here. Anyways, I'll see you later. Oh, I promise I'll wear those heels if you wear those sexy jeans. <clears throat> Must keep you on your toes. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I look a right plonker in that picture. I mean, Elena, look her. She's like five foot of goddess, you know, she's like, what's the chops? Um, Afro, uh... Aphrodite, goddess of beauty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Must keep your thing in me jig. Jigging. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did she shack up with the god of fire? Blacksmith metalworking. Very apt. <clears throat> I need 40 quid. Joint bank account, end of the day. Right, I'll uh, catch you after lunch, mate. Um, pay up then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 40 quid, what's that for? 
Look, I'm sorry if you overheard anything. I wasn't trying to rub your nose in it. It's fine. The money's for hope. School trip to a petting zoo. I'm not trying to fleece you, Tyrone. You know me, you know I'd never do that. I just thought, seeing as how she nearly blinded her, Hope might deserve something nice. Unless you're god of tight wad and all. She didn't nearly blind her. You're out of order there. It's just some false eyelashes. They'll come off eventually. Maybe. Pop. No, you don't. You can point those fleshy buns at Cap Kidson. Right. You've not damaged it, have you? No. No, I was eating a yogurt and it squirted out from the. Well, you know what from Ash Fray's like. Thought it splashed on, but looking at it. Totally fine. I did the right thing getting it done. I thought it would be something to bring a smile to our faces. But so far, you and I, zero smiling faces. Well, it's like... It's like modern art, isn't it? You can go to a gallery and you can look at a load of splodges painted on a canvas, which looks like a three-year-old's painted it, and someone goes, well, that's rubbish. <laughs> or the next person comes along and says, well, that's the meaning of life. And that's like this photo. Rota. Surprised Dad took you back after your little stunt. You know there's a name for folk that do that, don't you? Happy with yourself, eh? <sighs> Hello? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, this is Hope's Dad. What's happened? Right, well, have you tried to get hold of Fizz? Yes, okay. I'll come and pick her up straight away. Thank you. Bye. No. I never even asked. Oh, forget it. I'll ask Alina instead. Hey, it's great news about Peter, isn't it? Apparently the transplant went well. Yeah, Carla must be so relieved. Mm. About time they had some good news. Yeah. Let's hope he looks after this one. Oh, like everything else in my life, useless. It's dead. No, I won't worry, Fez. The world ain't gonna collapse if you don't have your phone on for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, sorry. Better order some food. Um, two hot pots, please. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Get on while you still can. What do you mean? Oops. <laughs> Wasn't meant to be saying anything just yet. We're uh, having a staff meeting later. Johnny and Jenny are selling the pub. What? No! The new owners, they wouldn't take hot pots off, though, would they? They're legendary. You never know. Might go gastro, be all oak smoked salmon and truffle chips. Truffle chips? So mommy. I mean, of course, it's sad, but I mean, the place is looking a bit tired. Maybe new owners could sprinkle some fairy dust. Or at least bring it into the 21st century. Oh, it's got its own charm, though, hasn't it? I like it as it is. Wonder what the new owners will be like? Oh, could be some dashing dot com millionaire. Single, eyes like the Pacific, cheekbones like cut glass, a temperament for fairy redheads. <laughs> oh, sexy brunettes. Oh, Oh, it's proper sad, that. Especially for Johnny and Jenny. You love them two together. Blimey. Times are changing. Aren't they just? Hey, Daisy, has Jenny mentioned it still keep the staff on? Oh, I don't know. There's no panic, though. I mean, me and Sean are sorted with double glammy and Ryan's always got speed dial. True. And he's DJing. Oh, but Gemma, she's got five screaming mouths to feed and that's not including our Chesney. Barely make ends meet as it is. Oh, I tried to think I will cope. Artie's face. Priceless it was. <laughs> imagine us two as a couple. Can you imagine? Do you know what? I'm going to have the lot. Three courses, defo the fillet steak, and some at top shelf to wash it down with. Yeah. Well, I suppose your skills have been paramount. Too right. 
And how often do you get to treat yourself? Mm, not a lot, you know, not with two high-maintenance teenagers like mine. Exactly. So relax those brooding shoulders and enjoy yourself. OK. The glee I will feel at Ardy's astonishment. Weight in gold. Or oh, fill it stakes. OK. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm not the one to tell you off. I'll leave that to your parents. Don't care. Oh, you should care. Stuart said in my class that I should join the circus. That Stuart knows nothing about eyelash extensions. Besides, you begged me for them. You made them look stupid. Maybe I made them a bit too long, but I was just trying to make something nice for you. I hate him. I'm stuck with them forever. So dramatic. I told you I've got the remover at home. I can take them. No way! You're touching my eyes again. Oh, please. Can't we just try to get along? Ruby's trying, can't you? You were getting on so well before. Can we just be friends? There is no point falling out. I'll go back, watch the investigators, and I can take those lashes off for you. I promise you it won't hurt. And then once you... Help! What are you doing? Why would you do that? Oh my God, you're, you're, you're right. She, she, she disappeared. I don't know, it stepped into the road. Hey, I heard the brakes screech. Did I do a bad job? <laughs> Mate, I'm so sorry. Oh, what are you doing? She's fine. She ran into the road in front of Ronnie's car. I think she did it on purpose to scare me. What? Did you really do that? We were arguing and... You was arguing? I... It was silly, a misunderstanding. Look, I think maybe we should just... Take her home. Oh, this is great. Fizzy's gonna love this. No! It bogged off with one of the backing dancers. What? Now, I wouldn't have minded, cos there was a whiff of pickled eggs about him, but it was me lift home. Four o'clock in the morning in a field in Failsworth. With nothing but a pair of furry chaps and some miniature bongo drums to hide me modesty. No. So how'd you get home? Well, I went all Bear grills. Spent a week there. No! Oh, did I, heck? I phoned a lift back with some grease monkey truck driver. Promised to give him a go on my drums. Both of them. <coughs> oh, oh, what are you like? You just... I don't see you shun out of pick honey. Um, you've quite the list of ex-romantic corkers yourself, from what I've heard. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. No, all I'm saying is, is compared to some of my previous dates, these... Pretend dates, well, they've been a blast. Admit it, they've been fun. No, I'm gonna say, I mean, you know, you've surprised me, you're good company. Got with more in common than you think? No. Well, two misunderstood underdogs. Hampered by families that have run as ragged. You know, I'm in an endless loop of soiled nappies, dirty kebabs, and Roy stressing over me toast timings. No, I hear you there, honey. That's the work, cook, clean, care for ungrateful children, work some more, be ignored by ungrateful children, go to bed, get up, repeat. Shame it's back to reality, eh? Yeah. Unless, uh... Nah, never mind. What? Well, why isn't the fun here? Why don't we go grab a bottle of wine from the shop? Carry on this act at mine. I hardly usually swings round about now for lunch. I go full postal on the flirting front. So you just really, really gross him out. Trust me, once I fire up these hips and lips, he will be running for the hills. <laughs> Let's get this bill, you know. I'm gonna love this. Now listen to me, I'm not mad at you, but I need you to understand that you could have got seriously hurt. Hurt? Hurt how? What's going on? No, she's not hurt. There's no need to panic. But she has done something very silly. She bolted out in front of Ronnie's car. What? You know, that's dangerous. Why would you do that? She said everyone loves Ruby and no <gasps> one likes me. Fizz, please. I wouldn't say those things. I promise you. Unbelievable. Come on, Hope. Fizz. The new world or old? Because a sophisticated palate like Bernadine's demands careful consideration. You can uh, stop now, Dev, with the big performance. Because Addy has filled me in on it. And after 
Bernie's great performance yesterday as a dog whisperer. I shan't be that easily fooled again. Any longer stood out there and I'll pick up a trade. I won't hold your breath, dear. Apple of my eye. If I could insist on your patience for just the briefest of seconds, I'm picking out the sweetest nectar to complement our remaining afternoon's delight. So long as it's strong. OK, OK. You've had your fun. Now you can just stop messing about. Because you should be covering me for my afternoon break. The only thing this man will be covering is me. Because mm. believe me, if you weren't stood there right now, we'd be undressing each other over them Gary Baldies. Devereux, my wild stallion, yours. Now. Last staff meeting we had, remember, it was that time someone used fairy liquid instead of bleach in the urinals. <laughs> like huh? circa 2008 iron apple foam party. Oh, flipping neck, is that what I think it is? You were selling the pub. Let's get the kettle on, let me, let me explain properly. Lunch, in case you need to know. Stock, take, whatevs. What, fizzy pop and custard creams? That lunch, is it? Your insides will start to look like a fatberg in an inner-city sewer. Dad not back yet. I'm surprised he hasn't told you, or at least taken out an ad in the Gazette. He and Bernie are at home carrying on this ridiculous charade. Ugh. As if we're that stupid. I mean, hello. Fake news alert. Oh, I know. Bernie being all... Gina Lolla Brigida in tie-dye. <laughs> Gina Lolla... Oh, never mind. Look, I've not stopped all morning, so if you could just cover for me for 15 minutes, then I can Sorry, put my bottom no on the... Sorry, no Right. We were open, and now we're closed. I hope you understand. And, and apologies, it's not everyone, but uh, Gemma's running late, and... Ryan's at speed dial. But I, I wanted to tell you face to face. And I, and I wanted to make sure you know that there's no need to panic, because there's no reason why the new owners, who, whoever they might be, um, won't keep young. Aye, well, let's hope so. And we've got double glammy. Not mm. quite destitute yet. I'm sorry, but uh, flogging Banish Your Eye Bags Concealer is not the same customer report as, you know, having a cheeky chin wag with Rita over the bar about her plumbing <laughs> whilst I serve you a creamy pint. Sorry, nope. I love this job. Of course the new owners will keep us on. I like those old drip trays, part and parcel. What about you, Jenny? I mean, what do you do? Oh, oh, don't worry about me. No, I'm, I'm Teflon. Through and through. <laughs> Been telling her she should join us in double glammy. Oh, you'd make a mint, wouldn't you, Sean? Well, I mean, um, we're still building the uh, USP marketplace, but... Um... But she'd be fab at it. Oh, I mean it. You're business savvy, you're a whiz with numbers, and you can sell water to a fish. Plus the aesthetic. A hottie like you, they'd be buying it in the truckloads. Nah, it's not really my thing. Whatever my thing is. <laughs> well, I suppose I'm going to have plenty of time to find out. <laughs> Fine. But if you need anything, I want to help any way I can. I'm gonna miss this place, though. These walls could talk, eh? Who knew so much could happen in one little pub? Aye. Happen it's the end of an era. <laughs> but you've been the best boss, you really have. Mm, that means a lot. Thank you. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's turned out like this. But yeah, I, it's not all doom and gloom, you know? A change can be a good thing. That everything. What, because Jenny walking away from a marriage, losing a livelihood, and us potentially not having a job isn't enough? I oh, know, it's just I had a total of 20 minutes sleep last night, so, you know, couch, blanket and box set calling. Obviously, I'm totally gutted about everything. It's nothing more from me. Well, remember, troops, whatever life throws at us, we can make lemonade. Oh, how is it? When life gives you lemons, you can have... Totally gone. See, this is what happens when I don't get my eight hours. Brain equals mush. <laughs> Bullshit! 
exhausted. <laughs> Napping in the middle of the afternoon. What a loser. You got me. There was me yeah. expecting to see you and Bernie doing things no <laughs> son should ever see. <laughs> I mean, I bet she didn't even come back. It's just a little joke. Do you know what you call a joke without a punchline? No. It's not a joke. <laughs> Suppose we better get back to school yeah. before you lose your head again. Stop dating Evelyn next. <laughs> you calling Hope a liar? No, but she's twisted it. She's a child. If you tell her that Ruby's your favourite one, of course it's going to have an effect on her. But I didn't say it like that. I was just trying to help, trying to reason with her that her behaviour has consequences. <laughs> Pot kettle black, Mark. Look, Alina was just trying to do what she thought was right. I mean, even you've got to admit hope can be... Be what? Well, this isn't the first time she's gonna made something up, is it? Right, that's it. Get out, both of you! Fizz, just calm down. Just be reasonable. I'll tell you what's reasonable. I don't want her anywhere near my kids, ever. Do you hear me? She stays away. <laughs> Coronation Street continues in half an hour.